Chip, what the heck is this? What? I don't... You changed your style again? Uh, I mean, I'm allowed. You said right here. I can explain. I can't deal with all these mixed signals anymore. I'm unsubscribing. So as you can see, I'm bipedal again, and aren't permanently smiling anymore. So with this now being the 14th... 14th? Are you serious? Iteration of my character, and after already breaking the statement that I made two months ago about not making any more big sudden changes, I think it's about time I deliver an explanation. One of the main reasons for using character stills, or in my case a character puppet, is to help reduce the amount of time it takes to make new videos by reusing assets that I've already drawn. It's a great way to keep up the quality of my videos while allowing me to keep a regular upload schedule. But by redrawing those assets every few months, I'm completely throwing this advantage out of the window and further reducing the amount of time I have to work on videos before they're due while confusing and alienating my audience who'd gotten attached to the previous design in the process. So, why do I keep doing this to myself? Let's start at the beginning. This style was the very first iteration of Chip. I began using it at the very end of January 2017 and it lasted for two videos. It did not have a lot of thought put into it, because at this point I had been stalling the beginning of my channel and I knew I just needed to make something in order to kickstart it. I was kind of struggling to draw something that looked nice, so I ended up going with a lineless style because Due to its simplicity, it's pretty easy to make professional looking stuff, even if you're not that good at drawing, using a lineless style. Later in my second video, I experimented with putting my character on the right side of the screen and somehow ended up messing up the ear colours of my own character. I don't know if you've noticed by now, but I kinda have a problem with mixing up left and right. Style 2 debuted in February 2017 and lasted for two videos. So my previous style was a puppet, which means I had a set drawing of the head and body and the arms, eyes and mouth would change based on what emotion I wanted to convey. It's a great technique if you want to create a variety of expressions with little work, but it's quite restrictive. It's not so easy to make, for example, the head turn to face the camera because it's stuck in this one position until you draw a new one. So, wanting to have more freedom with my character expressions and also feeling like I could draw something better, I created style number two. This time I felt more confident with my line work, so I used a sketchy style of line art instead of using the lineless style. I also got rid of the fluffy cheeks. I'm not really sure why, I guess I just thought it looked better without them. Style 3 was created in May 2017 and I used it for one video. I like to call this a spin-off style because it wasn't meant to replace my previous style, rather it was designed for a different type of video with a different tone. In this case being a metafictional story about the character of Chip. Some people have guessed this already, but the entire style of this video was heavily inspired by the Pointy Ponies style. It's basically a style from MLP which was adopted by the fandom and used in many fan animations including a bunch of fictional stories animated by an animator called Beaver Reverie, involving YouTubers doing... stuff? I had this fictional story idea in my head and the cute and minimalistic style was perfect for it. I created Style 4 at the very end of May 2017 and it lasted for just one video. I actually consider this style more of a 2.5, since it's essentially a slightly different style too, and that's all I wanted it to be. I basically just wanted to try out having my character in the middle of the screen, and I also wanted to update the pause. Previously I'd been drawing the arms and paws in kind of a triangle shape, which was cute, but I found it kind of hard to work with, and honestly I really like the look of big paws. Style 5 debuted in July 2017 and featured in two videos, and also had a spin-off style in which Chip became a Sneasel, which I'm gonna count as the same style. I think this is where the changes started becoming more extreme. 
Suddenly my old style was just not good enough and I felt like if I was going to be reusing assets that they should be higher quality and not be so basic and simple. I also fixed the few issues I had with old style, those being adding fingers which allowed me to point and do other hand gestures, and changing up the eyes to allow for a much wider range of expressions which also gave Chip a lot more character. I created Style 6 in October 2017 and used it in a whopping 4 videos. Wow. This is the point where I started using Adobe After Effects to spice up my videos. Rather than having simple character images, I figured out how to make them constantly move with the help of the Puppet Pin tool. I got rid of the shading to help make the animation easier and created a crisp and professional looking puppet in Photoshop. With this style, I finally found a line art and colouring style that I really liked. And this is the point where I started really getting into impressing people. Suddenly I had this drive to have the best animation and the best editing of every channel similar to mine. I don't know why, but despite every new upgrade to my videos taking longer and becoming more and more stressful for me, I didn't want to stop. But before I talk about yet another big change to my main character, let's talk about... Style 7 was created in November 2017 and was used in two videos. Yet another spin-off style made for more comedic, non-story based videos birthed Nekochip, named after it being heavily inspired by the style of the mobile game Nekoatsume. A very cute and silly style, and I found the concept of Chip constantly smiling hilarious. To add to the simplicity, I used a colourless sketchy style with boiling, which is where you draw the same frame multiple times to create this wiggle effect, which added some character I think, and made it a little more interesting than just the still drawings. Style 8 debuted in January 2018 and was featured in 4 videos in total. Style 6 just wasn't cutting it anymore. It was cute, but didn't really suit the kind of character I wanted to portray. I mean, just try to imagine this chip telling the story of me searching naughty words on the school computers as a kid. So I wanted to create a more funny looking chip, if that makes sense along with eyes with eyelids giving me more freedom to animate expressions and fingers that weren't just little stubs. Style 9 was introduced in April 2018 and lasted for 3 videos. Style 8 eventually just looked bad to me. I can't really pinpoint why, but as I was creating my last video with it, I just kept thinking, I can do better. I tried putting my character back in the middle of the screen to help me stand out from other channels and Improved the anatomy, I guess? Style 9 chip certainly looks really nice, but I think it lost a lot of the character that I'd created with the previous design. Style 10 began in May 2018 and was used in technically just one video, because I ended up redrawing the frames a little better, although they're essentially the same so I'm going to group them together. So in total, 3 videos. And here begins the traditional slash Neko chip era in which the presentation of my content completely changed. So around this time the animation storytime community was starting to receive a lot of criticism. The two main points of criticism being that it's unoriginal and not really animation. Despite honestly basically none of this criticism being directed at me, I decided I had to be different. I couldn't see anyone else doing traditional animation so I started animating my videos 100% frame by frame on paper with pencils. Which is pretty cool, if you know what you're doing. The quality of my videos plummeted by doing this. I had never done traditional animation before and I barely had any experience with using coloured pencils. Yet I decided to completely overhaul the presentation of my videos that I'd been working so hard on just to impress a few people whose critiques often weren't even relevant to me and a few commenters who continued to comment no animation even after painstakingly animating my frames frame by frame on paper. Bringing this back to character design, that was another thing I overhauled. Making what was supposed to be a silly spin-off design the main focus of my channel was kinda dumb. I wanted to move my channel into a more comedic direction and I loved the derpy cat design. But again, like Style 9, this took away so much of the character that I had previously developed. I kind of cut off the connection between me and my character. I mean, I'm not constantly smiling and staring blankly into the distance. 
I love the idea of a character like that, but it's just not me and it doesn't fit my personality at all. Style 11 was started in July 2018 and was used in two videos. This style is basically just me trying to fix issues with the last version while keeping the traditional style. The main thing being making the expressions a little less dead, not too much different here. I introduced Style 12 in August 2018 and used it in 5 videos. Wow, that's a new record! At this point I was very aware that the constant changes were not a great idea, so I tried really hard to make a design that I could stick with and only make small changes every so often to in the future. That sure worked out. I was still trying to push this weird silly cat version of Chip, but this time in digital and returning to After Effects animation. Chip became a quadruped to help further convey this personality and also to add a bit of originality to the design. I really liked this design, but like every other design I liked at first, I eventually fell out of love with it. So here we are. This is the first video I'm using the new style. So why did I scrap the previous one, although it was designed to be something that I could stick with? Firstly, the dot eyes and quadruped design meant that certain expressions were very hard to achieve and I felt like that often reduced the impact of parts of my script. And secondly, the character was evolving in a way that no longer fit me and the stories and ideas I wanted to talk about. Style 12 was hugely influenced by my desire to please critics. I tried to make it more original than other channels and I tried to create a more unique personality for the character than what my actual personality is. And I started adding more and more animation to my character. And what happened? People didn't like it. Some did, some didn't. But I ended up shooting myself in the foot by constantly recreating and adding elements to my videos, lengthening the time they take to make while staying on the same upload schedule, making the process extremely stressful and no longer fun anymore. For no reason. Throughout this journey of chasing improvement on my channel, I learned something. You don't have to listen to criticism. Now, of course, listening to criticism and improving your work based on it is great. And I'm not saying to get upset at critics and tell them they're wrong and their opinion is invalid, etc. All I'm saying is, as much as someone has the right to critique your work, you have the right to... not apply that criticism. Sometimes you receive critique that wouldn't really fit to the purpose you're going for, or maybe it isn't worth it or even possible for you to use. For example, probably the most common criticism I've received while making videos is of this blue transition I used to use between my animated stills. Many people found it jarring and suggested, just draw some in-betweens. And I was like, no, that wouldn't work because I don't know what position my character is going to be in when I switch to a different animated still. Not to mention that would take much longer than adding a simple transition. And obviously, eventually I gave in and converted my character into a full puppet with unique animation for every new video, which was a massive waste of time and energy. 99% of people didn't care in the first place, and I had even stopped getting complaints completely because I had already switched to this bounce transition that I never got one comment about. Honestly, I just got really afraid of being labelled as someone who can't take criticism if I didn't change it. But there's a difference between responding badly to criticism and just choosing not to apply it. And I only realised this when all the improvements I was making made videos no longer fun anymore. So am I going to go back to the old format with the set animations and no lip sync? Well, no. Honestly, I think my character being fully animated looks awesome and it's so satisfying after all my hard work to see it come together so nicely. I mean, that's exactly why I got into animating as a hobby. I'm hoping that at some point I can sustain myself off of less frequent but longer videos in the future. That'd allow me to flex my creative muscles while not getting overloaded with work. But until then, I'm working on ways to improve my efficiency in the programs I use and breaking up animated segments with more editing and illustrations. So I hope you like the new art style. I know some of you are disappointed that I'm not using Nekochip anymore, but unfortunately it's not possible for me to please everybody. So I'm gonna stop trying to do that and stick to what I enjoy instead. Whether you've been following me since Style 1 or just came across my channel today, thank you for the support. I realise now that most of you see my channel as more than just fancy animation and drawings, and I don't want to lose sight of that again. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day.